What if I told you that you can order groceries, book a taxi, or do anything online? Just enter what you want to do, and an AI assistant does it all. Unbelievable, right? So let me show you how to do any work using an AI assistant. The best part is, you can do this all for free. Okay, I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. To start using our AI assistant, we need to install a Chrome extension. So to do that, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now this is the extension which will act as our AI assistant and handle all the online tasks. You just have to set your goals and the AI take care of the rest. To use this extension, click add to Chrome, then click add extension and the extension will be added to your browser. And now we successfully installed the extension on our browser. Now in order to use the extension, you need to create an account on Multion. So to do that, click here and click here. Just click sign up, fill in these details, click create account and it'll take you to this page where you can chat with the AI assistant. All right, we've now got a powerful AI assistant ready to help us and be more productive. The AI is very capable, but it's best for relatively simple and well-defined tasks. So let's explore some of the incredible things that it can do for us. First on the list, let's see how it can help us schedule meetings effortlessly. So you can tell it to go to any website like say Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar and ask it to schedule your meetings. And before telling your AI assistant to do anything on a website, make sure that you've logged into that website. So, okay, now I'm going to tell it to schedule a meeting for tomorrow and click here. As the AI assistant works on the tasks, you can see its progress in real time in this chat window. It will post all the updates on what it's going to do at each step. I'm navigating to Google Calendar's event creation page to book a meeting as requested by the user. I'm naming the project Gravity Right and adding Alex Davis at walgmail.com as a guest. After typing the email, I clicked on the input field and waited for the dropdown to appear to select the guest. I'm selecting the guest's email from the dropdown, setting the event date to July 11, 2024 and the start time to 3.30 p.m. with an end time of 4.00 p.m. to make it a 30-minute meeting. I am also adding the signature to the description of the invite and then saving the event to send the invite to the guest. And that's it. We've scheduled a meeting using AI and you can check out the meeting details here. As you can see, it has scheduled the meetings. Next, let's explore it and ask it to use an AI tool to generate an image for us. So I'm going to tell it to use Firefly and create an image of a giraffe in a suit and click here. I am using the text to image feature on Adobe Firefly to generate an illustration of a giraffe dressed in a suit. I am selecting one of the images of a giraffe dressed in a suit to save it to the computer. I am clicking on the generated image to save it to the computer. I am downloading the generated image to the computer. Fascinating, right? It has used an AI tool to create an image and it even downloaded it. And you can see the image here. Now that we've seen how it can use a tool to create an image that we want, next, we'll see if we can place an order on a food website. That's right. You can ask it to order anything from any website. So I'm going to tell it to go to Swiggy and order a hazelnut cold coffee, set the payment to cash on delivery and click here. I am searching for hazelnut cold coffee within the Keventer's Milkshakes and Dessert Store on Swiggy to find the item and add it to the cart. I have found the hazelnut cold coffee item on the menu. I've clicked on the hazelnut cold coffee item to add it to the cart. I am clicking the proceed to pay button to move forward with the checkout process. I am selecting the pay on delivery option to set the payment method to cash on delivery as per the user's request. And the order has been placed successfully. Amazing, right? We've ordered food using AI and it was very easy. So now let's shift gears and check out a few more use cases for this AI tool. Now I'll ask it to generate some YouTube titles for my video. But first, instead of creating titles directly, it needs to analyze existing video titles on YouTube and then come up with unique titles for us. So I'm going to tell you to do that here. Click here. I am searching for cold email on YouTube to find the top 10 ranking videos on this topic. Memorizing the following information. I'm going to keep scrolling to find the remaining top 10 ranking videos about cold email so I can memorize the information. I have now memorized the titles and details of the top 10 ranking videos about cold email on YouTube. The suggested relevant keywords for a video on the topic of cold email are cold emailing tricks, cold email openers, how to send a cold email, 
Cold Email Tutorial, Cold Email Tips. Title Suggestions. 1. Maximize your impact advanced cold email techniques for professionals. 2. Unlock the secrets to irresistible cold email openers. 3. The ultimate guide to crafting cold emails that get responses. And now you can see that IAI tool has suggested these keywords and it has suggested these video titles too. Looks brilliant, right? It has analyzed all these videos and suggested the titles. By analyzing popular content, it can suggest engaging ideas. And in the same way, you can tell it to analyze any content like blogs, news articles, any new article topics, content ideas, and so much more. Okay guys, before we move on, let me show you a tool that will be a huge time saver if you're looking to write blogs. It's called Gravity Write. Just enter your title, click Create Outline, and you've got an outline. Hit Generate All, and in seconds, you've got a complete blog with stunning images. Visit GravityWrite.com and get it for one full year at just $97. Alright, now speaking of online content, wouldn't it be great if you could handle your social media posts too? Well, guess what? You can tell it to create some content and then post it on your social media. So, I'm going to tell it to post a tweet about yesterday's football match and click here. I am navigating to the Twitter login page to check if the user is already logged in. I am searching for a summary or highlights of yesterday's Champions League match to gather information for composing the tweet. Now that I've gathered information about yesterday's Champions League match, I am navigating back to Twitter to compose and post the tweet. I am typing the tweet about yesterday's Champions League match using the information I gathered earlier and then posting it on the user's Twitter account. Fantastic! There you go. A perfectly crafted social media post ready to engage your audience. So posting on social media, done. Now that's like having your own social media manager, right? Now just imagine how much time you'll save with this. Alright, now with all the work made easy, what if there was an easy way to create a website? Well, guess what? we built a super easy platform called Webspace Kit to build your website. So whether you want a website for your business or for your personal use, these templates have you covered. And not just that, with Webspace Kit, you get a free domain, free SSL and unlimited emails. And if you sign up using the link in the description below, you get a 10% discount on your hosting plan. So if you're looking for a hassle-free way to create and manage your website, check out Webspace Kit. All right, with that done, Let's look at using this AI tool to play a song we like. So I'm going to tell it to play my favorite track from Spotify and click here. I am typing the song title either way, along with the artist named Bromad into the search field and submitting the search to find the song on Spotify. I am clicking on the play button labeled Play Either Way by Bromad Jarrell to play the song Either Way by Bromad on Spotify. That's so cool, right? It plays the song that we wanted. Alright, as you can see, this AI is capable of quite a lot of work on its own with minimal guidance. In the same way, you can explore this tool and do your online work. Let me know how it went and tell me what are the tasks that you have used it for in the comments below. Now before I go, I want to remind you about two tools to create content and put them on a website. First, there's GravityWrite, the all-in-one AI editing assistant that can generate a 5000 word blog post in a single click. And next, there's Webspace Kit, the ultimate web hosting platform that makes it easy to launch and build your website. I've included the links in the description below so you can check them out. So that's it guys. This is how you can do any work using an AI assistant. Now, if you're looking to take your YouTube videos to the next level using AI, then you can check out this video. Or if you're looking for some AI marketing tools to grow your business, then you can check out this video. And if you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Website Learners for more cool videos like this one. Alright guys, until next time, take care, bye bye.